Thanks for rolling up. I'm Two Blood Marley, and this is Certified Pothead. Smoking on one of Late, late evening, early, early night time spliffs. You know, we about to do Bird Club. We about to check out these cannabis conspiracy theories, which I like to call cannabis conspiracy theory. Today's theory involves Rip Van Winkle. So let's be blunt. Rip Van Winkle didn't just doze off for 20 years. The man was couch locked, harder than a remote, buried in the sofa during a Martin Mirror. I mean, 20 years of napping. That's not just a quick snooze. That's a marathon of sleep so epic, it might as well be sponsored by the same man himself. Like Rip was hitting some seriously potent green. The kind of cannabis that makes your limbs feel like they're made out of lead and your bed feels like it's made out of clouds. And time, well, time just stops making sense. Forget snoozing. Rip was catching trees. And not just any trees. The kind that sends you straight into the ultimate cannabis-induced hibernation. But was Rip Van Winkle's legendary slumber a result of some magical drink? Or did he just find himself couch-locked by the most potent cannabis in history? Let's break it down puff by puff and see if Rip was more than just asleep. Was he, in fact, stoned out of his mind? Okay, picture this. Rip Van Winkle has been hiking, chopping wood, and doing all the standard ye old mountain man things. He's tired, sure. But not just physically. He's spiritually exhausted. Then out of nowhere, he stumbles upon some mystical mountain folk who offers him a drink. But let's get real for a second. This wasn't just any ordinary drink. I'm pretty sure Rip didn't trip over some random mountain potion. Nah, bruh. Rip hit the jackpot. And by jackpot, I mean he scored the most powerful strain of cannabis the world has ever seen. This wasn't the cottage strain that make you giggle at reruns of The Office. No, this was the kind of weed that takes one look at your plans for the day and says, yeah, that's not happening. You're not just chilling. You become one with the couch. And the couch is now a part of you. It's like gravity has suddenly intensified tenfold. And every muscle in your body has signed a petition against movement. You heard the couch lock, right? Rip didn't just get couch lock. He got mountain lock. He was so glued to the ground, he probably left an imprint of his body on earth for archaeologists to find. Now, Rip didn't just take a power nap. This wasn't your average cat nap where you wake up and feel like you could conquer the world. Nah, bro, Rip took a power snooze so hardcore that he woke up 20 years later. Imagine this. The last thing Rip remembered was, I'll just close my eyes for a second. And then, bam, he wakes up to a whole new era. Probably missed the invention of pizza delivery electricity and worst of all the internet the man gone for two decades without internet that's tragic here's a riddle for you i visit you every night but you can't remember when i arrive what am i cannabis as many stoners would tell you has a funny way of playing with time one minute you're spacing out to your favorite tunes and the next you've completely lost the track of what day it is time is no longer a clear experience but more of a suggestion You've ever taken a hit and then suddenly you're on a journey through the fourth dimension where a five minute snack break feels like you've been wandering the desert for hours. My friend experienced the granddaddy of all time distortions. Rip didn't just lose track of a few hours. He lost two entire decades. I'm talking, I'll just close my eyes for a minute and waking up 20 years later wondering why everything is suddenly in technicolor. He didn't just take a nap. He embarked on a full-fledged sabbatical from reality, where time ceased to function in any recognizable way. It's like Rip's body hit the pause button, but the world kept right on spinning. The guy went to bed with muskets and three-corner hats, but woke up to democ democracy. I'm going to have to stop saying words to y'all. Democracy in newspapers, talking about independence. Have you ever taken a nap so deep that when you wake up, you're not sure what year it is? That's the kind of snooze we're dealing with here. Except Rip didn't just lose an afternoon. He missed two decades. He must have thought, did I dream about all those revolutionary issues? Or did I just smoke the wrong strain? And that's where my theory kicks into high gear. Rip didn't dream it. He was couch locked by the strongest, most time warping strain of weed the world has ever seen. Here's another riddle for you. The more you fight me, the stronger I grow. Close your eyes and off you go. But am I? Nowadays, people use all kinds of sleep aids. Lavender pillows, weighted blankets, warm milk, which I have to say, all those old movies got wrong. Rip Van Winkle didn't need any of that nonsense. Had something way more effective. 
cannabis strain so potent it could knock out a linebacker faster than you can say sweet dreams. We're not talking about your standard sleepy time remedy here. This was the heavyweight champion of all sleep inducing substances, making melatonin look like a cup of weak chamomile tea. This was the kind of indica that wraps you in a warm, cozy hug and whispers, it's okay, you don't need to ever get up again. It's a sleep aid that doesn't just help you fall asleep, it helps you stay asleep for a millennium or two. Rip didn't just lie down for a quick rest. He surrendered his body to the universe and let the ultimate nap take over. This wasn't just a power nap, it was a super power nap. Imagine hitting the strain so strong that even your alarm clock gives up and goes home. That's what happened to Rip. Guy was out cold for 20 years. Not just sleep, hibernating. Bears could have taken notes from him. His bed probably forgot what he looked like by the time he woke up. It's as if the strain turned his entire existence into a long REM cycle. Scientists today would be losing their minds trying to figure out how this dude managed to sleep through the biggest events of his time. He didn't just miss out on his morning coffee. He missed the entire birth of a nation. But hey, at least he got the best sleep of his life. Riddle time. Though I'm quiet, I can make the loudest sound. When I'm close, no one's still around. Rip didn't stumble upon just any old group of folks in the mountain. These weren't your average hikers offering him a drink. No, these were master growers, the kind of cannabis cultivators who have strains so secret they're whispered about in legend. Think about it. These guys didn't give Rip a cup of punch. They handed him a nugget of the most potent strain known to man. A strain so powerful put an elephant into a deep existential nap. Existential, we did that on the first. You know the type of people who treat their plants like royalty? Talking about them with reverence like they're discussing ancient gods. These weren't just amateur growers. They were herbal alchemists. Working with plants so potent, they could alter the very fabric of reality. They knew exactly what they were doing. They didn't just hand Rip a casual drink. They handed him the sleep of the century. Served in the chalice, it probably had mystical properties. Rip probably thought just a quick sip. But little did he know, he was about to take the ultimate cannabis plunge. In that strength, it was legendary. The kind of bud that turns a quick smoke break into an entire afternoon spent pondering the universe's biggest questions like, what if we're all just living in a giant bone? By the time Rip took a hit, it was too late. The mountain folk probably gave each other a knowing glance as he sipped the concoction. They knew. They always knew. Now picture this. Rip finally waking up, stretching and yawning, thinking, that was refreshing. What time is it? Maybe I can catch a bit of the afternoon sun. But nope, he doesn't. Just wake up from a long nap, he wakes up to a completely different world. Everything's changed. The town he knew is barely recognizable. People wearing clothes that seem way too modern. And the town isn't buzzing with gossip. Gossip. Words, people. Gossip about local farming anymore. You've got Wi-Fi now. They're talking about streaming services and selfies and Rip standing there scratching his now knee-length beard trying to figure out what in the hell was going on. He missed out on everything. Probably stumbled into town thinking, what is this sorcery? Where's my horse and buggy? People probably took one look at him and thought he'd step out of a time machine. And then the way he had. His nap wasn't just asleep. It was a journey through time, courtesy of the strongest strain in human history. Rip might have felt well rested, but he wasn't ready for the future. Can you blame him? One minute you're chilling in the mountains with your best buds and next you're woken up in a world so advanced it feels like a whole new planet. That's the power of a legendary cannabis strain. It doesn't just take you places. It takes you through time. The answers to the riddles. Sleep, drowsiness, and the yawn. I'll see y'all in the next one, bruh.